First at noon, the potential field of candidates for the U.S. Senate race next has gotten a little smaller. U.S. Congressman Fred Upton, who was considering a run, now says he'll opt for a try at re-election to his House seat and pass on the run for Senate. Political reporter Rick Albin is here with us with what this means for the race and the candidates who are still in. Well, Upton would have certainly brought some gravitas to this race because he's been around Washington for a long time. He was elected as a member in 1986, started serving in 87. He was a staffer on the Hill before that. And that longevity may have been one of the factors when it came to not running. The chant of drain the swamp, so often heard at Donald Trump rallies, applies to Democrats and Republicans alike, it seems. And Upton certainly would have been considered part of the establishment in D.C. with his close relationship with leadership and having himself recently served as chairman of one of the most prestigious committees on the Hill. That kind of insider connection might not have sat well with the Trump wing of the Republican Party. Now, of course, none of that was mentioned as a reason for the congressman deciding not to run. He said and said, quote, I will not be a candidate for the U.S. Senate. There was a path, but today we're choosing not to follow it. Instead, my focus will remain on helping all of my constituents with problems big and small involving the quality of life for all in Michigan. The congressman went on to say, we need to focus, uh, we need focus and fortitude in Washington now more than ever. We are full speed ahead for re-election in 2018. Now that leaves the field with two Republicans currently who are running, former Michigan Supreme Court Justice Bob Young and John James. He's a West Point grad veteran and businessman. They're vying to take on Democratic incumbent Debbie Stabenow next year. Now others are considering a run. There will of course be third party candidates as well. Other Republicans could still get in. We've got a long time before the deadline. But Upton was one of those big marquee names that people were waiting to see. Mm -hmm. Now his decision not to run, we'll see if that allows a path for somebody else to get into the race who maybe we haven't heard their name surface yet. We'll see. Always interesting. There's still time. Oh yeah, yeah. there's a lot of time. Okay. Thank you, Rick. You Rick, thank you.